when the doctor tells you, in this, in this case, the accountant tells you, it, you know, guys, I think it's over. And I don't think, like, you need to go see an insolvency lawyer. So we went downtown to this guy, and uh, to his credit, he just didn't mince any words. He looked at it and said, uh, you guys are done. And he said, you know, you have a couple of choices right now. You could try to turn this around and work it out, but, you know, it's just going to take an extraordinary amount of effort. And uh, so I'm going to recommend that you, uh, that you restructure the company. Now, the company only had a few creditors, so it didn't have to go into receivership. Right. Um, the company itself actually didn't have to declare bankruptcy or anything. But what happened is um, when we got home from that meeting, I called the, the, so I had this very, on the one hand, it was a very sinking feeling inside having sat through that kind of hour long consult. Um, at the same time as I knew it was coming, but now I had to face the prospects of going home to tell my lovely wife that, you know what, the, the business is basically done and we've personally guaranteed all that debt. So I knew that there was going to be dominoes to fall. So there was a lot of dread going on for sure and uh, sleepless nights. And then, um, but you know, my mind at the time was also trying to think, okay, so what do we do? What do we do? Um, and my dad was kind of philosophical. He had been paid for his shares in the company, plus he had a pension. So his big thing was concern for me. Um, he said, I love you unconditionally. Uh, you can get through this. And so um, with that, he said, you know, why don't you look at your options?